Hi everyone. I thought I would hop on to do a pretty quick video today about a piece of Camino gear that has kind of become indispensable for me. Um, and that is the buff. I think technically the term for this is a neck gaiter, um, but it's basically this long piece of fabric um, that can act in a number of different ways. So I was just out on a little walk um, and it's a chilly day here on the East Coast of the United States. And I put this around my neck, like so. Whenever I go out on a winter walk, I almost always am wearing this around my neck. Um, it's great piece of equipment to keep, um, basically, yeah, to keep your neck warm, to add a little, you know, another layer. And as I was walking, I was just thinking how much I really love it. And then I started to think about how on the Camino now, it's become this piece of gear that I take on every single trip. And so I thought it could be useful to talk a bit about how I use it on the Camino. Now I walk all of my Caminos in the summer. That's when I have time available. And so, you know, while in the winter it can keep you warm on the summer, it has a few different purposes. Um, I got this particular one before my very first Camino in 2014. So I've had it for a while. Um, and it's interesting, you know, on that first Camino, I think I only used it once, maybe twice. I had read about it before I went on the trip and I thought, oh, I might as well get one and see if I'll use it. And I didn't end up using it that much. Um, I remember that I wrote a blog post after the first Camino, kind of going through my packing list and talking about things I loved, things I might not take next time I went. And the buff was one of those items that I wasn't sure that I was gonna use again. but. I did take it on the next Camino. I ended up using it more and on each subsequent walk, I think I've used the buff more and more. So I would say that my top use for this is when walking in the heat, and especially if you're walking in the sun, again, wearing it around my neck to protect the back of my neck from the sun, I think it's really important and it's a, a super useful item. Uh, I tend to wear a ball cap to protect my face from the sun. Um, but because I'm not wearing a wide brim hat, it kind of leaves the back of my neck open. And so the buff really can help protect against the sun. I think the other use that I discovered, uh, I think this was in 2017 when I was on the Chemin du Puy, uh, walking in France, was the first time I walked through a heat wave. I discovered that I could dip this buff in cold water. So if I would get to a fountain, I would just run it under the fountain, really saturate it, and then I would put it around my neck. And that nice, cool water on my neck really helped cool me down. Sometimes I would pull it up and kind of put it over the top of my head, kind of back over you know, my hair. And again, that would really be cooling on my face. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna link here to a video um, not probably the most flattering video because I'm walking in a heat wave and I'm sweating, but it shows how I was using the buff on that Camino. All right, it's uh, 20 after four and I have eight kilometers left to go into Las Caban. So I'm making it. This has been a really tough day. Um, you know, I have been wetting the buff, so dipping it in cold water every time I have to see a fountain, and that gives like such instant relief for, you know, two minutes. And I bought a lemonade. That was a lifesaver. All right, found a fountain and I dipped my buff in it and it is nice and cold on my neck. Oh, it's hot out here. Ooh. And then a few other uses for the buff as well. Um, it can work as a handkerchief, a tissue if needed. Um, it could be used basically as a sweat rag. You know, sometimes if I'm wearing it on my neck, but then, you know, I don't want it on my neck anymore. I'll just take it off and kind of put it on my wrist, but you can use it kind of to wipe the sweat away. Um, once when I was walking the Norte, I used it, not this particular buff, but I actually had a second one, um, that a, a pilgrim had gifted to me. I actually used it as a bathing suit top <laughs> in a pinch. I really wanted to go swimming and I didn't bring a bathing suit with me. And so I thought like, oh, maybe this will work. And it actually did. <laughs> um, those are just a few of the uses, um, of a buff and it's something that I will take on every Camino. I love having it. Uh, I think certainly if you walk in a cooler time of the year, it can just be another layer. Um, we know that some people have used them as face masks, masks during COVID and um, we know that they're not the most effective, but in a pinch, you can pull this up over your mouth and your nose um, to use it as a face mask. That'll also help keep you warm. So anyway, lots of uses for this really simple piece of gear. Um, I'll include a couple of links to some below. I think there's actually somewhere out there is a Camino buff, which would I think be a really cool thing. 
thing to use when walking the Camino. Okay, well, um, hope you enjoyed this little piece of advice and I'll be back soon with more.